by columned galleries where a lot of columns where it looks very beautiful they're shown behind the galleries uh, about the ornate floor mosaics yes when we uh, went there we saw a mosaics a lot of mosaics unlike uh, the contemporary examples in Anatolia the doors to the Pergia Gore stores were arranged uh, to open towards inside uh, or outside uh, alternatively the entrances are in the center of each of the four Porticos. The open area on the western side of these structures was unemployed as main entrance hall. Given the natural slope of the area, it's possible to say that the south side of Agora, of Agora was two stories. Uh, it was the second largest Agora in Turkey in terms of the size consisting of three nested squares. Yes, thank you for the information. Beautiful colors, very big. Uh, it was very big city. Uh, I know uh, such interesting thing that this city one of not um, one. Uh, it's not close to sea. It's very strange because ancient city was always close to sea. But it's very good because <laughs> warriors can go here very easy. Not so far from the sea. Not so far, but not very close. Yes, like, not uh, like Olympus, like not like Pasiris. Yes. yes. Uh, hey, we have a guest there. <laughs> that cat is oh, cat. following Molly. <laughs> yes. And hey, Molly, you have a friend here. Yes, continue. I read that uh, in uh, these columns you can see fish or another thing. So uh, people sell it, sold it, sold it uh, in uh, antique times, and you can watch fish, for example. They sell <laughs> a lot of mosaics here. You can find safe. <laughs> She's so thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For Molly? I think she is not interested in it. <laughs> Even she didn't uh, have a look to mosaics. from other shops uh, in the south portico of the S Colonnade Street which was open for visitation in 2030 they are connected with a volute overhead two architectural phrases are identified in the building the first one is the oval shaped niche the well-pressed ever 
preserved the niche was faced to colored marble panels. This installation which reached a, a depth of 40, um, 000 pm <laughs> meters and the precos attested on the walls have been added in the 6th century. Uh, amazing. The mosaics. This little girl doesn't interested in mosaics. <laughs> she is digging. Hey, digging is uh, forbidden in antique cities. They might arrest you. <laughs> the mosaics. It's a big crime. Depict, uh, depicts a scene from Trojan War. Understand? Trojan War. A legend story of antiquity. Mm. Yes. Agamemnon sacrifices his daughter. Iphigenia? Iphigenia? Iphigenia, yes. <laughs> yes. However, this panel from Perga depicts Nephel, mm. uh, not Artemis, and abducting Iphigenia in Hellenic yes, mythology. Yes, you remember these uh, names from the movie Troy? Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> uh, the lady known. was the first wife of Athamas. Athamas divorced Nephel in order to be able to marry Ino. So the cloud goddess sent the ram with the golden list that would save her children. Very interesting mosaic. Mosaic is very nice.
Ba-ba-da-ba-ba-da Ba-ba-da-ba-ba-da Ba-ba-da-ba-ba-da